Today we're going to be going over Fab Filter Pro Q2 and specifically how to mid side EQ. Essentially, having mid side audio functionality allows you to EQ the mid channel and the side channel separately. This is going to be really useful for you guys when you want to manipulate the stereo image of your sounds and your tracks. For anyone watching who doesn't know, the mid channel refers to the center of the stereo image, while the side channel refers to the wide sections of the stereo image. If you use this properly and lightly, I'd say, you can make your entire mix down sound way wider. Pro-Q is a great EQ, which has mid-side capabilities. Um, simply switch to the mid-side in the channel mode section. Then you can EQ the mid and the side separately. Low frequency instruments, like your kick and your bass, should be kept at the center. Um, and wh while like your, your higher frequencies and your mids are going to want to be pushed to the outsides of the stereo field. Firstly, it's hard to identify where the source of the low frequency sound is in terms of the position. Um, second, bass sounds are more powerful on large systems, so they're going to be punching through the center of the mix as opposed to being weakly spread. All right, so I have a track here called Riot um from cymatics i'm just gonna play through it so you guys can hear what's going on and then we'll uh start mid-side eqing <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're just going to open up Fab Filter Pro Q2. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do after we switch to the side signal um, is to cut out everything below 500 hertz. Uh, we want to keep that mono because all the frequencies are going to be removed from the side signals. This is going to guarantee that elements in our track like the kick drum and the bass are sitting right in the center of the mix. This is a good way to keep the centered power for the low frequency elements in the track. Next, we can stay on this section, um, but we're going to boost a bit of the high mids and the highs. This is going to create the perception that there's some sparkle on the wide sides of the stereo spectrum. Um, it's going to make the track sound brighter, wider overall. Let's just check it out. Alright, cool. And just remember guys, you can get creative with the way you're going to EQ your mid channels and your side channels and give a whole new sense of dimension to your tracks. The examples I've been using today are the most common ways that you can use the mid side EQ, but you can get creative and, and give different characteristics to your tracks. Just be sure you're going to monitor your phase and ensure that you aren't causing any issues with your mid-side EQ. This is another way to get really big results with minimal effort, but the possibilities are endless with this technique, and you can use it on individual sounds or on your master bus, doesn't matter, but when you're done, and if you do it effectively, you can improve your tracks like crazy, guys. Um, it's been a pleasure. This has been Mike with Academy.fm. Fab Filter Pro Q mid side EQ functionality. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Check out the other videos.